This weekend, a military jet went missing in South Carolina. Now, my dog has a GPS on it, and more than a 1,000 people have been rounded up and charged with January 6th participation, including one person identified by the creases in his ears. But the military doesn't have a clue where an $80 million covert fighter jet went? Are you kidding me? Look, we wrapped up yesterday's show with this story, but I want to pick up where we left off. We now have a lot more information about this $80 million jet. The Navy just lost, what well, was the Marine Corps, but they're the Department of the Navy. I mean, at least they found it now, I guess. But what, what the heck took 28 hours? My car has a low jack system. If it's stolen, you can find it in no time. School buses have real-time GPS so they know where your kids are. And my dog, for $600, has a collar that tracks his real-time whereabouts. You want me to believe that the same department that has nuclear submarines can put a missile through a window like 8,000 miles away? They just lost the most advanced fighter jet in the history of the world? I I'm sorry, but my spidey senses are a little up on this one. You, you could have just put an air tag in there for like 30 bucks. That would have helped. Folks, any of you who watch this show regularly know that I'm intimately familiar with air support platforms. And in training, we devote a few weeks a year solely to CSAR, this combat search and rescue, where we're specifically trained to find our people and our stuff. So I know something about this. This thing landed in a field less than 80 miles from the base that it honestly, not in that rural of an area. It absolutely scorched the earth all the way around it because of obviously jet fuel, yet it took a whole day to find this thing. On top of that, the Marine Corps Commandant goes and grounds all aircraft. You know why they ground the whole fleet? They don't do it for mechanical errors, folks. They do it during security risks. When I was in Iraq, our crypto that encodes all of our communications was compromised, and the same thing happened. They shut down everything in a war zone for a few days while they could roll out new crypto that had to be manually transferred to everyone in country. I'm willing to wager that there is a similar security risk here. And that is why they grounded all of our planes. There is this thing on this jet called a transponder. All of them have them. Now, anyone who has ever been in the military knows how many tests things go through, how many levels of redundancy there are to even get a button approved to be installed in a plane, a tank, or whatever. These things don't just fail. In this case, it was, quote, not working for some reason we haven't yet determined. That was a, a statement according to Jeremy Huggins, a spokesman at the base in Charleston. This was shut off, folks, or deliberately not turned on. We don't know yet. Which leads me to wonder by who and why. I want to know why 80 million of our tax dollars were invested in something that failed. The F-35, as I said earlier, is a $1.7 trillion project. That is one-third of the nation's entire federal tax revenue in a year. So, yeah. I demand perfection and a bit more transparency when it's not. I'd also like to point out that at the same time, the government, who doesn't want me to own an AR-15, by the way, and they just gave $80 billion in weapons to the Taliban, but they can just lose a fighter jet and no one gets fired yet? I mean, this is not okay with me. You, look, you can call Edward Snowden whatever you want, but if you recall... Back in 2015, he published a batch of documents confirming that Lockheed Martin had, in fact, been hacked by China back in 2007, specifically pertaining to the F-35s. Now, of course, Lockheed assured the DOD under their $1.7 trillion contract that the, quote, classified F-35 information is protected and remains secure. Well, yeah, of course they said that. I mean, I sure hope so. But in those same leaks, according to another PowerPoint presentation, the Chinese hackers also had access to data on the B-2 stealth bomber, the F-22 jet, space lasers, missile navigation and tracking systems, as well as nuclear submarines, anti-air missiles, and more. Look, what, I was in the military when these hacks were happening. They may not have made headlines, but without disclosing any classified briefings that I actually attended over them, I can assure you there was a massive concern at the time. By the way, guess how many people were fired over that hack? Zero, again pattern here. Now, given all that, is it too far-fetched to think that this jet was compromised by China? Just based on the publicly available information? I mean, it seems weird, doesn't it? Look, China is an adversary. They flew a spy balloon over us. They have people getting caught at military bases every single month. And e even one of them had a drone flying around, which you can't do on military bases. The CCP is buying hundreds of acres of farmland that we're allowing to happen, by the way, just outside of our bases. 
They've been buzzing our planes and ships, not to mention opening a military base off the coast of Florida in Cuba, just like Russia did during the Cold War. Now, we may not be at war with them, but they are definitely posturing for a war with us. Keep in mind, Xi Jinping is the leader of China for life. He's not bound by four-year terms like we have here in America. These leaks happened years ago, but China didn't have to act on them immediately. And no surprise, he didn't do it under Donald Trump. But under Joe Biden, you know, the guy who let a Chinese spy balloon just float all the way across the country, including, by the way, this balloon floated right over that South Carolina base that this F-35 was launched from. Coincidence? The guy whose son got $2 billion from a, for his private equity firm that he had no experience in from China, who we've seen on a text message calling for an immediate $5 million payment from a Chinese official with his dad's in the room. Do you really think that any of this is a coincidence? We got to wake up. And the Pentagon saying that white supremacy and white nationalism pose the greatest threat to the military, why they hire drag queens as their spokesmen. They're going to provide sex changes for soldiers. Dude, you just lost a fighter jet. Get your priorities in order and open your eyes.